All right, guys, we are back on episode number three for Food Plots for Beginners. If you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding this video. Also, subscribe, click that bell notification so you guys never miss a video. All right, guys, this is episode three on this series on how to create food plots for beginners. Uh, we've talked about location, you know, sun, you know, and correcting that pH. Episode two, we talked a little bit about what to plant, you know, and actually adding that lime to it. So today we're going to talk about a little bit more on actually working that soil up, how you can do that and the different options that you have. So after we found that location and gets adequate sunlight, we get that soil sample. Then we go into, you know, picking what to plant. Now it's time to actually decide on what you want to do with that soil so a lot of times and i've done a video on this a lot most people only have a very very small area to make a food plot and that could be you know 20 yards by 20 yards 10 yards by 10 yards you know 30 yards by 30 yards it just varies but most of those little areas are going to they're going to be small because that's what most people have they're going to be called you know there's so many different names that people call them kill plots you know poor man plots you know all that type of stuff um typically a smaller plot like that is not going to be enough to sustain you know that deer herd it's not going to be enough to feed that deer herd year round now if you're getting into three you know four or five acres then yeah that's going to be their main food source most likely if you're you know if you're not in you know ag country if you plant that big food plot and that's the only food plot or ag in that area then you're going to be in the chips because those deer have nothing else to feed on yeah you know they'll feed on natural browse and stuff but that's going to be the preferred food source so we're talking about these little small food plots that majority of us have to plant you know i've done a video on this i made a food plot with just a weed whacker and a rake you know i'll, I'll play some footage on here doing that but we picked that area and we knew that or i knew there was going to be a lot of deer hitting it so it wasn't going to be enough to sustain that deer herd so i decided to plant clovers you know clovers are a perennial they continue to grow you know pretty much nine ten months out of the year so you know we talked about this in the last video a lot of food plots fail because people plant straight brassicas you know if especially if it's in a small plot you plant straight brassicas the deer takes a bite of that brassica leaf that brassica leaf is not growing back so it took it took a bite of it it ate that tonnage and it's pretty much done for you know it's not going to grow back yeah you got the bulbs and stuff but as far as that green and growing tonnage the plant itself is not growing back so you have to be cautious on what you plant you want to for those small areas or if you have a big area you don't want to straight plant all annuals you want to throw some you know perennials in there so that way you have a green and growing food source that's that's growing not nine ten eleven months out of the year to continually feed the deer so back to planting these small ones is because most of us have this you know there's a several different ways you can do it as i mentioned i planted one with just a weed whacker and a rake you know it, it grew very well because i went through the proper steps and got a soil sample and you know corrected the ph and all that so in these big areas compared to small areas you can you guys can do these small areas with a leaf blower you know a weed whacker a rake you know a couple friends you know and get out there for a couple days and you guys can make these areas two years ago i made a bunch of videos on this with just using a leaf blower and a groundhog max we went in the woods it had enough sunlight you know we we rake we blew out all the leaves we got in there with the groundhog max and you and we disturbed the dirt and worked it in and everything but you can do this with a rake you know get a couple buddies out there you guys can rake rough the soil up but there's a lot of species out there or varieties of, of seed that will say no plow and i did a video on this you know just because it says no plow doesn't mean you can just find an area and just throw that seed on top most likely it's not gonna it's not gonna work yes you can do it and you'll get you know you might get 50 percent germination because if the seeds are really really small it's easier for them seeds to work in the soil and get covered up you know when it rains and stuff like that it you know pounds them into the dirt but the fact is just because it says no plow it's a marketing tactic doesn't mean you can't do anything you know you have to do something to get that 
good soil to seed contact. So if you're if you have a small area and you decide you want to use a weed whacker, you know my my advice to you is to get in there, get that weed whacker, you know, burn all that duff off the ground, the weeds, the leaves, whatever it is. Get down to bare soil, get a rake, you know, rough that soil up a little bit. That way, you know, when you go to plant, you get good soil to seed contact. Now, a lot of people are against this, and I honestly really don't like to do it either. But if you have a bigger area, you have, you know, the thing is with planting a food plot, if you're, to me, yes, I talk about this all the time, deer eat weeds, you know, they eat briar, you know, all this weeds, you know, that, that grow in the food plots and everything that, you know, that can over, uh, that can overdo your food plot and shade it out is glyphosate, you know, Roundup. You know, a lot of people hate this, and I personally hate it too. But if you're going to take the time to spend the money on a food plot, you have to kill what's there. Because, yes, deer will eat the weeds. But the fact is, if you don't do something on the initial, your very first time initial planting of that food plot, if you don't do something to kill it, whether it's a burn, which most people can't do, you have to spray Roundup, and I personally hate this, but you have to do something to kill those weeds because if you spend the time, the, the money, the effort, everything, and you, you don't do anything, if you just rough that dirt up and then you go to plant your food plot, it's going to be nothing but weeds. It's going to overtake your food plot, and it's not going to be what it, it should be. You know what I mean? So if you're spending all that money to plant, it, you have to do something to kill those weeds off. You have to do something. So my recommendation is either to get a weed whacker and just burn everything off down to the ground. If it's a small area, yes, you're still going to have the weeds are still going to grow back, but at least you did something to get the soil, you know, good soil to seed contact. If it's a large area, you can get in there with a backpack sprayer, just spray it, just, you know, spray the glyphosate, burn those plants up, wait a couple weeks, a week or two till it starts turning brown. Then you can get in there and work it up and then when you go to plant your food plot you're going to have a much better result you're actually going to see your efforts pay off because you're you know you're what you planted is going to actually be growing you're not going to see tons of weeds yes you are still going to have some weeds in there but it's not going to be overtaken some weeds are okay but when you plant a food plot if it's overtaken by weeds and it's shading everything out what's the point you know what i mean what's the point of doing it that's just my opinion what's the point so you have to do something to kill those weeds off whether it's glyphosate you know there's other methods of doing it you, you know you can do like vinegar and dish detergent there's several ways you can do you can use to kill those weeds off but that's video number three you know you have to you know pick an area you have to do something to get good soil to see contact after that Tomorrow, join back in, be video four. We're going to go more in depth on food plots for beginners. Thank you, guys.